on the channel from Fury Toys, we take a look at the Samurai Animals Spring. Definitely not Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. here and welcome back to the channel for not a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle unboxing and review as we're taking a look at Spring from the Samurai Animals collection from Fury Toys. But for all your action figure needs that aren't Spring, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items and of course anything over $39 does ship free. And this is an interesting one. This is one of those uh, third-party overseas uh, order it and then it comes a year later, eight months later, what is time? I don't know. Uh, as I did pre-order this way back when, I believe I ordered the second one already and they're going to do all four Ninja Turtles in this line eventually. But this has been an interesting one as there's been a lot of discussion on the old interwebs out there uh, about the height of this one. Is this is supposed to be a 112th scale figure. A lot of people saying, eh, not, wait, not so fast, not so fast there. And we'll do some comparisons later on in this very video, so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. Let's take a look at the packaging. Let's talk about it. Let's unbox it. Let's talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. First, we need to get a second box with this, and it just says custom kit. Oh, a custom kit. Everybody loves a custom kit, so we'll dive into that here in a second. And then we got Samurai Animals Spring, 112 scale collection, Fury Toys. Very interesting. Of course, Fury Toys, I believe we unboxed the werewolf earlier this year. Uh, I like that. You guys know I love a good hairy bipedal creature, especially a werewolf. So I did pick that up. It was an okay figure, I thought. I don't know if it met my expectations, but it was an okay figure. Uh, it looks like the same company. Same kind of packaging, like no frills with this packaging. Almost looks like a copier that's running out of ink is how the artwork on this looks. Uh, very, very plain Jane. But I don't think anybody's buying this to be in the package. This isn't a great in package collectible uh, you got some warnings things like that different languages all that going on without further ado let's get him out of the package here got the old razor blade let's see what is going on inside here uh, what is this all about there it is nothing else there over the top see you later goodbye oh boy this is a very very small figure there's a 112th scale spring figure in the plastic prison very small here so now i do understand what people are saying this is a uh, gosh this almost matches up with Masters Universe Origins uh, from my eye test right here. But we do get some interesting stuff. Oh, we got more tape to cut. There we go. Pull everything out here. Knock it all out. There it is. Nothing else in the plastic. So we're off to the side. See you later. Goodbye. I guess I can get this custom kit open while I'm here. I already tape cut. What is in here? I'm not real sure. Nothing fun there. See you later, box. Oh, we get two extra blades, or two blades, I should say, an extra head, an extra set of hands. So, a little bit of accessories going on there. I'm, you guys know I'm here for some accessories. Pull that out as well. Oh, are we taped together? Oh, there it is. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Well, let's look at all the accessories first, I guess. And I guess we'll start with this custom kit over here. We'll save the head. We'll talk about the heads together at the same time. We do get one set of extra hands. These are kind of the splayed out hands. That is what you'd call these. Of course, you got three turtle fingers going on. Now, this does kind of look like a turtle, but it looks like a reptile, which I guess is close enough. Uh, we'll see. We'll dive in here. But definitely cool hands. Get an extra set of hands. No traditional fists on this one. However, his gripping hands are almost like fisted hands. It's almost a two-in-one hand. That does work for me. We do get two blades. Oh, okay, yep, you can't be removed here. So we do get two katana swords. This is definitely not Leonardo for a turtle because Leonardo would never use swords like this, or maybe he would, who knows, but we do get these. I love how old and ancient this looks. You got the wrapping, some very worn wrapping, uh, some dark washes against this thing, beautiful handle that shows wear, got the black on the end, nice silver blade, just a very, very good looking blade. And of course, you do get two of them. Does have a plug, I would assume. Yep, they plug into the back of the turtle shell, so that's all you gotta do is plug them in there. 
talk about this head in a little bit. And let's talk about these weapons here. What do we got going on? Ooh, very, very sharp. Man, definitely not for kids. Actually, I think I just pricked my finger with this. That's how sharp these are. You get these two blades here. Got the nice loop on the end. Once you get a nice, dirty, grimy kind of wash to the handle on this and a nice blade. But man, very, very sharp. You could literally stab somebody with one of these. That's how sharp they are. I don't know if that's really needed. Did they need to be that sharp? I don't know. That seems a little dangerous to me. And then you do get the two big old scythes, scythes, scythes. Uh, I don't know what we call them. We're going to chop down some hay bales, things like that if we need to. But once again, I'm expecting them to be very sharp. And yes, they are uh, very, very sharp. Same kind of wrapping going on, same kind of brown. Uh, definitely looking really, really good here. Uh, and then we do get a chain. Everybody loves a chain. We get a couple of chains here. What do we got going on? I got one chain. Of course, this chain has a big knot in it. So that'll be real fun trying to get that all kind of unknotted. Uh, maybe not so bad, but I might have to uh, enlist the services of my wife. No, I got it. Ah, no need to call Angie down. Angie, help me get this done. Uh, she can uh, do that another day. But it looks like you can... What do we got going on here? We got a little bit of an opening here at the end. Kind of like a necklace is almost what this reminds me of. And I guess you can put this in here. And then he holds on to this end. So you can put this on if you need to. Uh, it can go on there. So uh, you do have that. And you get two of these chains here. And it is real chain, which is really nice. So a decent amount of weapons, of course. We know Leonardo, uh, historically, if this was Leonardo, he would have these swords. But now let's break down this figure. Let's see what's going on here. And the first thing I notice uh, out of the package, the same thing I noticed in the package, we've got a little paint flaking off on me, uh, is how small this guy is. And this is a samurai turtle, uh, I guess we'll call it. Spring is his name. Uh, but definitely samurai, I see that. He does have the samurai helmet. I got some ma massive warpage there on kind of the horn at the top. So I need to heat it up or bend it back a little bit to get it even. Uh, it is a little bit off-centered. Uh, but it is good color on it. It does have the bend to it. Like I said, it is beaten. It has some dings on it, things like that. You do get the head here, which is interesting. So it's a samurai helmet on top of a turtle or, you know, almost a lizard. I don't know if this head, if somebody gave it to you just as it is, if you would say that's a Ninja Turtle head for sure. It doesn't scream Ninja Turtle to me. Now, this one, on the other hand, screams Ninja Turtle to me because uh, it just looks like Leonardo, if this was Leonardo once again. He does look really good. He's got his bandana, and I love that it's soft goods on the end here. Uh, that's nice attention to detail, as usually we see it in plastic. So that does look really good. Uh, very kind of big chrome dome on him and a very, very mad face with whites in the eyes. Uh, but a very, very good one. And this one screams Ninja Turtle a lot more than the head that is on there, at least to me in my opinion. Uh, but I still do like this samurai head. And I guess it'll be interesting once you get all four turtles together, do you display them with the samurai head or the regular heads? Once again, choose your own adventure. Now, I talked about the size here, and I believe Fury Toys posted something online the other day asking for what size for the other turtles. And I think they're realizing there's been a lot of feedback. These are a little too small for the average uh, Joe that is wanting these. And I think they're going to upsize some of the other turtles. Now, historically, we do know in some incarnations of the turtles, they are different sizes. Me, personally, for what I want, I want them all to be the same size. That's how I envision the turtles. But I'm not everybody. You can choose your own turtle adventure. But it sounds like they might be moving the sizes on some of the other ones. That might make some people mad, myself included. I'd like to see them all the same size. As much as I'd like to see this a little bit bigger, I'd like going forward to see all of them in the same scale together. But once again, that is just me. Uh, but let's break down this guy. Of course, the head is removable. Head back and forth, side to side, up and down. Good movement on this head, actually. Even some slide side to side. Arms go all the way around. You do get the elbows side to side, back and forth. Uh, you do get a nice, tight joints on this guy. I mean, when I say tight, very tight. And it always worries me I'm going to break something like this. But no, the joint's very tight. Hands are going to be removable. A little bit back and forth. Very big hands compared to the arm. I mean, his hands are way bigger than the arm of him. Uh, so you do have that. You do get the old turtle splits. Very interesting. Uh, one leg goes splits a little bit more than the other. That's an interesting deal. Uh, you do get double jointed knees. Look really good. And then you do get the ankles back and forth, side to side. And that's where the paint just is coming off on me right here. What is that? So you're getting some uh, paint as you move the joints around. Uh, very interesting. And then he does have his two toes, three fingers. Did the turtles, I guess they do have two toes. What am I thinking? Yeah, they have two toes. Very cool. The wrappings go around the feet there. The nice blue to tie it all back into Leonardo. 
uh, looking good. I like the knee pads on him. I love, once again, the introduction of soft goods on the belt here. you got a sculpted in belt into the soft good belt that looks really good. He does got his uh, bandolier over the top on him, and you do got some, some throwing stars uh, built into the sculpt there. That does really look good with the silver. And a very grimy paint job throughout. Very, very grimy. Like, this guy hasn't showered or, or hopped in the pool in a long, long time. But he does look really good. It definitely looks good. The thing that holds it back for me is just the sizing of him. Uh, you do got holes in the back of the turtle shell. He even has a little turtle tail going on, uh, which we don't always see in incarnations like this. Uh, you can plug in the blades in the back of his turtle shell. His turtle shell's got a nice color to it. The wrappings are a nice color once again. Uh, skin tone even has some sculpt to it, a little bit of uh, raised bumps throughout on like the thighs and things like that. We do get a wired cape going on, or I should say non-wired cape. I would love it to be wired, then you could get it blasting out looking good like that. But it is uh, a nice look to it. It makes it look a little bit different. I'm guessing if I pull the head off, that'll probably fall off with it. Whoa, head very easy to remove. Uh, but yeah, you can just remove that if you are so inclined. Uh, so choose your own adventure once again. Where's that other head? There it is. Try to pop that on there. I don't know. I think if you're going to put this other head on, you probably want to take the scarf off. I think that's what I'm going to do. Got a little ball joint there. We're going to pop it in. There it goes, just like so. Very interesting. So this does look very turtle. Looks very movie turtle. One of the later movie turtles from like the 2000s or something is kind of how he looks like here. But a very, very small head compared to the rest of the body. You can see a little bit more with that scarf being removed. See a little bit more of the apparatus around. See a little bit more of that shoulders. Uh, definitely does look pretty good there. And then these will probably fit in a heck of a lot easier without that uh, being in the way. He's plug in very easily. So I do like that as well. Love the ease of use there. Uh, I can see some hardcores out there getting two of these, so you can uh, display both versions of the turtles here. Uh, you can just pull this blade out, and it should slide right in the hand fairly easy. A little bit tight, but it does work. Not too bad. This is an interesting one. I definitely, this isn't for everybody. This is third party, a little bit harder to find. You kind of got to search around. You can't just go to your entertainment earths or big bad toy stores of the world and pick this guy up. Uh, but for collectors that are in the know, the hardcore collectors out there, uh, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. It's a little bit of a mixed bag. I'm going to see this through. It's going to be another great incarnation of turtles. I think there's been rumors that maybe they're going to make like Bebop, Rocksteady, things like that. So it'll be interesting to see how that ends up netting out. Uh, but it's an interesting first impression. Some good. I like the tone of it. I like the color. I like the griminess of it all. Uh, the accessories look really good, things like that. It's just the scale is what holds me back just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, and your mileage may vary depending how you feel about that. Comparing him to some other Ninja Turtles, how about we got a real Leonardo, uh, Playmates edition. So you can see it's about the Playmates, the classic turtle. It's about the same height as those, about the same. Uh, so most of us are familiar with that. We do got the cartoon NECA turtles, so you can see that. I mean, these are very small figures as well, uh, even half that size there. And then you get the movie version of Leonardo right here, and he's going to just tower over him. Uh, so, boy, 112th I think is stretching it, but what is 112th when you're comparing things? That's that's the hard thing. And what is size of turtles as they're different in so many different medias and toy lines combined? So there's some differences there, uh, but it's an interesting murder's row of Leonardo and not Leonardo right here. All in all, uh, $50 seems like a little stretch. I'm not going to say this is the greatest value. I'm not going to say this is the best uh, Donatello of all time. Best Leonardo of all time, but... It's cool for what it is. It has a certain charm to it, but it is pretty pricey. I'm not sure how well it's going to scale with most people's collections. It's better as just a one-off collection off to the side, I think, is how I'm going to do that. But what say you guys out there that pick this one up? Do you have any thoughts on it? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Have you decided not to get the rest of the team? Or are you all in? You're going to complete the team. Let me know in the comments down below. But it is very good in the articulation department. I will put that in. I forgot to mention that at the very end. Uh, but just let me know your thoughts on not Leonardo in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. So you guys know we got videos every single day and then some. Don't forget about the Patreon. Link in the description down below. Your best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget about social media. Hit me up at SirPaul64 over there on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for spring, I am Kyle. And I'll see you guys all real soon.